and hello everyone welcome back to a new video so today I'm going to talk about procedures this is my form if you want to copy it there's not much to it so um, first thing first we can't just talk about procedures we're not going to just make one I gotta explain what it is first so here's a nice example the button is a procedure now you can think of a procedure as just doing something just maybe like let's say your procedure is opening the book and closing the book it just does that it doesn't return anything it doesn't do anything specific you just tell it okay you should move left you know then you should move right that's a procedure it does not it doesn't respond we can say but we'll get you why it doesn't return something in the next video so the thing here is procedures or if you know any other programming language you know about functions now just think of writing a function but without giving it a return without saying it returns something if you don't know any other programming languages procedure is something of as i say just doing something like you stand up you open a book you close the book you go back or you open a door and you close the door or you start running it's beep this is a good example beep is a procedure if we run the program and we click the button that has the procedure of beep I don't know if you heard that but it goes Drum. that is because procedure it just does something it just told the computer to do that another procedure can be a show message and this says hey create another form you can say another um, sub form almost and on that form should be a line of text is that's whatever is in there so let's click the button again as you can see it brings up another in quotation marks form and this form is called project one and it has some text inside of it once you click ok it closes the in quotation marks form a good way to to know if something is a procedure is let's create a variable here we can call it is just is and that's a string if we go is becomes show message and we run it we're gonna get an error because string and procedure are incompatible types and we'll get to that in the next video about why they're incompatible just know for now that procedures cannot just be assigned to your everyday variables like a string, an integer or a boolean. So now that we know what a procedure is, let's create a procedure. This might even explain it better. So to create an, a, your own procedure, which is not a button or an edit, or like an onclick is a procedure. Like this is an onclick or just a click in this case, but you can say it's an onclick. Now when they click the button it will call this procedure and it will do what is whatever is said to do in here. Also a fun fact you can go you can't say result. We'll get to what result is later, but this is this is a fun fact. Keep in mind you cannot say result in a procedure or a button for that matter. So let's create a procedure. So how do one how does one create their own procedure? This is actually fairly more simple than you'd think. Here's one procedure. Uh, let's say uh, we need a good name for this one, guys. Stand up. Procedure stand up. What this procedure will do is it will make our imaginary character stand. But you know what's actually better? You know what is actually better? Let's let's add an edit. Let's make it easier. So this we're not going to change its name. We're just going to put an edit here. We don't need to change its name. Now 
if we click on button now when we go on to this procedure it should change the text inside of the edit so change text now we can go control shift and C this will create any procedures we have up here and we have procedure change text now think of this procedure as this button if you call this procedure it's going to do whatever it should do just like if you call this button it does whatever it should does when do you call this button you call this button when you click on this button this is why when you go into an event and there should be a click yeah right here on click this is a procedure this is the same procedure that is here and when you click on the button it does this we can just because we're going to click on it more so what can we do we can go edit edit one dot text becomes hello world so when this procedure is called it's going to change the text inside of this edit to hello world now let's call the procedure so what we can do is we can go change text just like with beep and show message we can just call it it's easy these are just what is given to you like if we go up here the users clause basically has all of this um, i think system that says utils uh, I, that may actually keep most of these or most of these those one we made ourselves so this is what the these mean so if i'm going to do this it's going to click on a button give us a pop-up and then change the text so we just basically created our own not show message but change text so that is the basic part of your procedure if you know how to do how to code in a button everything you do in that button you can basically do in a procedure that i just say basically because you some things like clicking the button again you can do that in a button but you can't do that in a, in a procedure now what if what if we added another procedure this one can be called change text to now what this is going to take in is whatever goes into this the text should change to on that edit so if we go um, is text string now what this is this is you can call it an argument now an argument is something you put inside of it you you put an argument inside of this thing and it will use that argument inside of its code so if we go control shift c and recreate it then as an example i'll go and copy this i'll paste it here and then instead of hello world we'll go s text so imagine the show message it takes in a string argument just like or change text too so it takes in this argument which is a string and whatever is in here it pops up you can apply the same thought into this you say change text to and then you say s text s text this is basically s text and then you change the edit to that text this you don't have to declare this you don't have to go variable is text is a string in fact you'll get an error because is text is basically already declared is text has been declared in the private section and it has been specified to point towards this so just keep that in mind you don't need to declare whatever is in here in this but you can still declare your own variables like variable will ch change for example which is a boolean variable will change so you can still declare variables just 
cannot declare this again just like with the button you didn't see this being declared in here again this is because this has already been pointed to this button we just can't really see that so yeah you can think of it as that so let's use this and let's see if it works change text to and it will change it to click me which is a string if you run this it changes it to whatever we tell it to change and as I keep telling you just think of it as a show message it works the same as the show message and if that confuses you too much think of it as the button it can do whatever the button can do in most cases just keep that in mind and also if you ever get in a test this can also be known as a parameter and not an argument but both are still valid ways you can say it now a procedure can still take in more than just a string procedure set age we'll get more to what set age and stuff can be used for and then you go i age which is an, an integer control shift c and then you can just be like i age becomes five for example or i age later then you go show message i age so you can still take in just wait int to string yeah before him before i forget about that so you can still take in different type of data types if whether it's an integer a string a boolean a character whatever you can put inside of this variable right here this variable section right here you can put inside of here but don't just put everything you're going to use inside of here inside here unless you do need to actually put something in it to make it work correctly do not just do that if it can do something basic like change the text to a set value which you do not need to just give each time someone clicks on the button or something you can do this this is perfectly valid so yeah this is basically what a procedure is if you do not understand what a procedure is there will be a link in the description to a video that will explain procedures and functions keep in mind uh, what they are how they work and how to use them so if you do not know what a procedure is if you still do not understand what it is i highly recommend you go watch that video because from this video on forward the work will only get more and more and more intense Thank you all for watching. Hope you all enjoyed and learned something new. See you all in the next video.